All right, Jason here from septictank.co.uk. You join me now on a live site inspection. If you're wondering where I am, I'm actually under a bridge trying to find a septic tank that's going into this dry riverbed that you can see, but I'm on here. So uh, I know it's around here somewhere. So I'm going to carry on looking. Oh, so this is an amazing place. I mean, I get to go on some really fantastic places. I mean, I just show you the sky is blue, the moon's out. I don't know if you can see the moon behind me, but it's just uh, some of these site inspections I get to go on are just absolutely incredible. So if I just turn around now, I'm going to show you the dry riverbed. There you go. Can you see the right dry riverbed that's winding away behind me there? Behind me here, I've got a an amazing oak tree and behind me is like a Victorian Edwardian kind of bridge that the stagecoaches used to go over. <coughs> so all the rules and regulations, as you know, are changing pretty soon, right? And uh, it's called retrospective planning approval kicks into, uh, into effect on the 1st of Jan 2020. So these people want me to uh, put in a solution for their septic tank and uh, soak away. So I've been trying to find out, here's the bridge behind me. That's what you saw me crawling behind before. I'm just trying to find out where this soak away is. They said it's by the bridge. <laughs> so I'm by the bridge now. Oh, man alive, this is amazing. I used to go metal detecting, I used to love metal detecting, but uh, oh, I'm not metal detecting today. All right, so, oh, oh man. Wow. Oh, I can smell the sheep. I used to work on a farm and I used to love working with livestock. And can you see the dry riverbed behind me here? Yeah. Um, just absolutely amazing it is. Got these gnarly kind of tree roots and stuff. So. <coughs> right. Oh, it's just so great being out in the country, I tell you. Oh. Forbidden heck, I always get thorns somehow everywhere I go. Gotta negotiate these forbidden thorn trees. Okay, so uh, oh, I can see it, I can see it, I can see it. You know. People put their soakaways in the strangest of places, right? Have a look at this, right? <coughs> Got some strange stuff on the riverbed here. Oh, this looks really old. Bit of iron, whatever that is. Looks like it's off an old pipe. So, ah, could have been off the old soakaway here. Let me turn around and show you what I've seen. Can you see the soakaway pipe there? So can you see the path? So it's going from there directly into the river bed. So this could have been part of the old soakaway pipe. Obviously someone's just replaced it with some, uh, with some blue plastic perforated pipe, but you can see the sewage will come down there, down there and into the dry river bed that goes under or in the river when it's in, um, when it's in flood or full flow, but these, these, these kind of soakaways here, if I just show you this, right? Um, <coughs> retrospective, if I just come out, get a better shot for you. Retrospective planning approvals, basically gonna ban and outlaw septic tanks that discharge into water courses like this one. And so uh, if you're a septic tank owner and your soakaway goes into the soil, or the river, it really doesn't matter because uh, it's now in the hands of, I can see the pipe over there, I can see the pipe, the old soakaway pipe. It's now in the hands of um, your building control officer. He's gonna come around now after the 1st of January and decide whether your septic tank's legal or not. It's been estimated that 60 to 70% of septic tanks will be failed and they will have to put new ones in or a new digester. And uh, I keep telling people about this. It's costing people 15, 20 grand to put a new bio digester in. You don't have to do that. If you've got a septic tank and you're worried it might fail, just put 
um, an ecosystem in. An ecosystem is a septic tank converter. It just literally fits onto your septic tank. It turns the raw sewage from your septic tank into almost like rainwater, okay? That can be discharged into the soil and you're guaranteed, uh, you know, 100% approval rate with them because they're government approved. So there you go. So not only do you get to see me on site, you get some amazing free tips. So here we go, look at these. Here's the old soakaway pipe. Let me show you the old soakaway pipe. Okay, oh, blinking heck. That's really heavy, look at that. That's a really heavy old soakaway pipe. Oh, it stinks, it stinks of sewage. Well, it would be if it was a soakaway pipe. So there you go. So, so you've joined me on site today, live on site, right? Live on site, Get some, to go to some beautiful places. So. With these people here, what I would recommend, can you see the pipe? Oh, up in the distance there. I'm gonna to say to them to put one of those ecosystems in, one of those septic tank converters. And, uh, oh man, just changing the subject for a minute. Oh, wanna see these bridge. This this is like an old stagecoach bridge. Stagecoach would have like gone over there. And they're just amazing, look at that. Such a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Oh, right, okay, so I'm back. So listen, I'm gonna leave it there, but listen, thank you very much for jo joining me today on this live broadcast. Uh, if you want to see more of me and what I do, then just go to Septic Tank TV, subscribe to my TV channel, um, like me on my Facebook channel, and you could win some free bacteria and some free soaker weight worms, that's right. So you'll never have to empty your septic tank again. But listen, you take care now and I'll see you soon.